you know, I had no idea where it would go when I started cutting up the first bills. Collage artist Mark Wagner first cut up a dollar bill 15 years ago. I had no sort of personal interest in economics. But he couldn't stop making things out of money. His collages are assembled almost entirely from $1 bills. He calls this one the Money Lisa. By doing what you do, you show up all sorts of parts of the dollar we never sort of notice. That's one of the ironies of the work is that, you know, people, people are so familiar with this object, they have it in their hands on a daily basis, and no one really, no one really is aware of, of what it looks like. His work asks us to reconsider this piece of paper we value so much. It's against the law to destroy it. You know, it's sort of this taboo that's being broken in order to make the work. His epic piece, Liberty, is 17 feet tall, made from nearly 82,000 bill fragments. It took basically an entire year. Not all his ideas are so ambitious. Is this a standard broom, or did you have this made? Um, I had those made. You did? My brother David is a woodworker. Titled, A Very Expensive Push Broom, its bristles are $88 bills. You really do give a whole new meaning to how far you can make a dollar bill go. <laughs> um, thank you. I intended that. You're going to draw the tree, too? Yeah, draw one. The 42-year-old artist works out of his home in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where he lives with his wife, Amy, and their two-year-old son, Henry. Wagner's a magician with an X-Acto knife and glue. It's almost like you did an autopsy on the, the dollar bill to see all the little artistic pieces that were in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, um, we call it dissection when, I, when we're breaking up the bill, you know. He harvests every scrap of the banknote, meticulously sorting the pieces. This is the light chunks box. The light chunks. It includes a section for the signatures of the Treasury secretaries. George Washington also has a home. If ever I want an image of someone doing something, it's always George Washington. He sort of stands in for everyone. In Wagner's world, Washington becomes every man and all the faces in the crowd. He makes other famous faces, Abe Lincoln, Ben Franklin, Ben Bernanke. And this was commissioned by Time? Um, yeah, that was commissioned by Time for their Man of the Year cover. They ended up rejecting it, and then it sold to the Smithsonian. It sold to the Smithsonian? Yeah, to the National Portrait Gallery. They're always moving somewhere between these kinds of drawing elements and sort of more painterly effects. Mm -hmm. At New York's so Pavel Zubak Gallery, Wagner's collages can fetch tens of thousands of dollars. His shows usually sell out immediately. How many pieces of his do you have? Probably a dozen. Uh -huh. Frank this Williams is a collector. And I keep finding things that basically that I'd like to bring home so I could look at them a little longer than I can when I see them in a gallery. Is it expensive to work with money? You cut up a lot of bills. Um, it, you know, it's not. Uh, I, I let people think that it's expensive when they're looking at the, at the work. The bills aren't the expensive part of the operation. You know, it's, it's the time. The very act of cutting up money raises the question of what it's worth. Mark Wagner's art is a conversation about the nature of money and American identity. I'm not making posters. I'm not making, um, you know, protest signs. Art happens in two places. Art, art happens, you know, in, in my brain when I'm, like, making these things, and then in the viewer's brain when they're looking at them. You know, I, I'm interested in what everyone brings to the table.